Creative Game Studio. I got this for Christmas from my lovely family, along with a bunch of other expansions that I'll be unboxing in the next video. But for this one, just the core, there's a lot to go through just with this box, so let's do it. Yeah, so another big game dungeon diver unboxing on this channel. And not much of me uh, playing it. <laughs> I guess I'll put that right there. I'll take it off, okay. Yeah, not much of me playing it. <laughs> Uh, I unboxed Bard Song. Haven't actually even played it yet, let alone on the channel. But okay, we have a bunch of reading material. Let me take it out of this so it's not so crinkly on camera. All right, so we have three books. We have the rule book, very coggy. The interaction book, where when you interact with something, it's like a full page art with different things you can interact with. I'll show you maybe the first one, the one that everyone else shows, the one that's not really a spoiler anymore. And the adventure book, all the narrative you'll be reading. So I'm most excited about this. Let's try to not spoil anything. Oh, oh, there we go. Interactions book. Uh, just the, okay, so I guess this is your first interaction not the one I was thinking of but I have seen this before So you come to a part in the story and you can interact with three different things And this is the one that everyone references This is of the actual first scenario that I know of that I've seen playthroughs of and yep You're interacting with this stone gargoyle. You can pull the handle examine the water get a uh, relaxed I guess pull the blue flame torch examine the parchment in the gargoyles mouth yeah, but that's the idea there. The adventure book. 118 pages. A word from the authors, prologue. And this is all on Foreteller 2. It's 15 bucks or so, I think, maybe 16, 17. I haven't bought it yet. I don't know if I will. I was kind of hoping it would go on sale around the holidays, but it has not. So this is your setup. You put the door card there, when you get to the door, it kind of opens up and tells you more story and what, how you're going to lay out the next area. But yeah, I won't go any further because this is the first scenario. This is the one everyone plays. I see hands. Oh, just someone's hand, someone's finger in there with a ring on. Okay. And here's the rule book. I haven't read through it yet via PDF, but I have watched playthroughs. And I think I'm ready to go. I, I'll probably play the first scenario soon, I promise, and then read through this as needed. But yeah, so here's all, I'll just go through the components, right? So these are all the minis, that's the big bad. And these are the darkness tiles that you'll be overlaying on top of other tiles. These are the different leveled terrains. And the map tiles look really awesome. I can't wait to show some of them off. Yeah, lots of cards. Always lots of cards. These are the door tiles I was talking about. Dare you tempt the hand of fate. All right. Oh, so door database for different challenges. Maybe if you go through them, I'm not sure. I'm not going to open these up because these are just huge spoilers. Um, yeah, so this will be the second door I go through. I wonder where the first one is. I'm not sure. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Some tiles. You get the idea. But, you know, it is nice, popping, vibrant artwork. I'm down with that. Also, some people consider these spoilers, but I will just show this one. And that. An armory-looking deal. Look at that chest. Lots of loot in this game. Ever since Massive Darkness 2, which I've probably referenced a lot on this channel already, <laughs> I like loot. So you'll need one of these per adventure, I guess, and per hero. No, it seems like, yeah, per hero, per hero. Class tree, their skills, different notes. I am going to be playing one-handed. Um, I tried bard song with more than one and I wasn't into it. I'm just going to start here with one and see if I want to add more later. So this is your quick start guide. It'll direct you through the first, yep, the first scenario. There it is. Yeah, so that's the one I was showing in the 
interact book. But yeah, okay, so I can just use this for the first scenario, I guess. Chronicles of Drunagor, not the best feeling bag in the world, but it's nice, it has that nice print on it. I'm fine with that. Tokens, I do usually refuse to open tokens on camera because they get lost. And then I have a eight month old and a four year old who destroy anything that touched the ground. But yeah, look, look how nice, right? That's, that's nice. Look at that, those darkness tiles. That'll be causing me some trouble. I think these are for the initiative track. Health interact tokens, don't know, some plus one, minus ones happening. Companions, or maybe summons. I'm not sure what kind of classes we're even dealing with here. Different buffs and debuffs. And the game trays. So these are for the heroes, I would have to assume. Looks like they have things in it already, just to save some space. So this looks like a trinket, and this is where you would be slotting your dice. Wandering monster event cards. Oh, wandering monsters. I'm a fan of uh, wandering monsters. I'm not sure about you, but I do think it helps to change up the game a bit. This looks like more like the epic level loot. So I see some purple. Dream Crafted Buckler. It's shiny little hints of purple and blue on it. I'm not going to open them, sorry. Some loot cards. I know you have to roll a die and see if, if it's a mimic or anything bad happens to you before opening the chest. Uh, here's a skill. Command to strike. And you can only use a green cube to activate it. Also some dice in this little compartment. I like the gray swirls. And yeah, I don't know what that die is for, sorry. And then we have an empty one, an empty one. Full of rings for both baddie bases and hero bases and everything in between. Looks like we have cards in here, I'll show them off. A potion card. Potion of healing. Discard to self. Heal six. Can't heal others, just yourself. Dream crafted pattern. I'm not going to read all that, but something for the camp phase. Oh, here's a boss card. I'm not going to go through that. And then looks like another skill card. This is for wisdom, blue cubes, elven memory, and force push. Here are the hero sheets for the core game. I also have Spoils of War, I think is what it's called, but basically the Kickstarter stretch goals for more heroes and enemies. But let's go through these, see what we're working with. All right, on top we have Elros, the elf assassin. He can do a deep lunge, he can poison his blade, he can focus, he has a poisoner's kit. I wonder how gray works. Are there gray cubes? I'm not sure. Evasion, Viper's Kiss, Smoke Bomb, Retaliate. He's good with light weapons, offhand weapons, leather armor, and trinkets. This is a thing he can do on his turn. This is those special abilities when he gets those. He can assassinate and have a noxious blade. Oh, it has a nice little backstory for him. I'm down with that. His life has been marked by strife, evidently. I'm sorry. Jaheen. He is a human cleric. On his turn, he can do that. He has a shield bash, healing wave. He uses light weapons, shields, plates, and trinkets. Some of his abilities, searing lights, blessing of the sun, protective lights. I'm a fan of this artwork too. I do think the Spoils of War heroes look cooler, so I'll probably be using them. Lorelei, I like her name. She has an arcane shield, spectral strike. She uses cloth armor, obviously. She has magic missiles. Oh, like my mage in World of Warcraft. Astral strike, magic bolt, telekinetic thrust, battle focus. She was born in Loreland, the capital city of the Sun Elves of the Espera Islands. And since her childhood, her magical abilities and aptitude were clear. 
All right, good to know. You're focused. That's why it's one of your abilities. Maya, the human ranger. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. What? I don't get that ability yet. I wish I knew more. <laughs> you get plus nothing. All right. Play catch. Activate your pets. Ooh, I hope there's a cooler looking hunter, ranger. Sorry, Maya. Uh, bear, battle focus, rapid shots, evasion, whistleblow to call your pet. Comes from a humble village. Vorn, the draft war dwarf warrior, crossed parry, hammer crush, whirlwind of steel, divert, bull rush, <laughs> battle focus, guarding strike. Uh, sorry. The undead king. Yep, big boss. All right. This is to keep track of enemy conditions and health. The camp. We'll be resting up here. Remove conditions. Remove curses. Recall your cubes. Recover all your HP. Yeah, so I guess maybe after a scenario, I'll be going to the camp. It's a nice little placard there we have to visualize the camp. I appreciate it. And that's all the heroes of the core. I assume this is where all my tokens <laughs> will be going when I eventually punch them out off camera. This is empty right now. Oh, more storage. I'm, I'm, I like that. I like storage. And the rest is all minis. Some more dungeon tiles that I'll be going into, but not right now. There you go. Let's look at some minis. Who's this? Is this Vorn? Hi, Vorn. Nice battle axes, as dwarves typically do. Not mad at that. Nice sculpts. I think, who else do I remember your name? Um, here's Elros. I was a number one rogue in uh, Storm Reaver on World of Warcraft. Anyone from there, let me know. For a brief time, I had some early legendary daggers and I was just ranked number one. And then I wasn't. Oh, little meeple, little company icon on the bottom. There we go. Let's look at some enemies and then I'll move on. He'd be fun to paint. I have some paint on my way actually right now. Maybe I'll actually paint this. I'm going to play the tutorial and see exactly how much I like it and how much of my time I want to devote to this. It's hard when I have a ton of other games waiting on me, but we'll see. And this, I think, is a... This is for the terrain, I think, to slot in and elevate it, which this game is kind of all about. Here's the big bad. There he is, the, the dude on the cover. I don't think you need my hand to focus, yeah. Skulls all around him. Is that a skull staff too? Yep, skulls on your staff. Skulls there, just a pool of, pool of skulls. Yep, all right, you're a bad guy. I get it. A mace and a sword. Seems kind of awkward to fight with, but uh, scary nonetheless. And also scary, yep. Big guy with hooks. And since everything is used with cubes for your actions and resource management, uh, lots of cubes. <laughs> Didn't expect there'd be that many cubes. And then I think this pulls out too. This is another dungeon level. And another dungeon level. Yeah. Yep, that's the core box. Thanks for watching. I will be posting the expansion boxes soon, at least the ones I have and could track down from eBay and different stores that would actually ship to me. Uh, but yeah, catch you next time. See you later.